Hello, you're watching weekly review of the US stock market on InstaForex TV channel with me, Katerina Stichina. The US stock market witnessed sluggish growth on Friday on the back of the inauguration of New Year's President Donald Trump. Nevertheless, indexes entered negative territory by the weak results. On Friday, the Nasdaq Composite advanced to 5,555.33, but its weekly drop made up 0.3%. Meanwhile, the Dow Jones Industrial Average increased to the mark of 19,827.25. Despite the Friday rises, the Dow Jones and the Standard & Poor's 500 ended the week in the red for the second time in a row, losing 0.3% and 0.2% respectively. The Standard & Poor's 500 climbed to 2,271.31 during Friday's trades. Still, the index closed the week in the red on the back of negative dynamics locked by the results of three out of five sessions. Trump's speech had some protectionism remarks. He expressed a readiness to adopt measures supporting American workers, but did not give more details. The president's plan implies tax cuts, is to tax burden, and to reduce corporate tax that is the highest in the world. Given a lack of significant statistics on Friday, market participants paid attention to corporate reports. Shares of oil companies were among the best performance thanks to rising crude prices. Shares of Procter & Gamble jumped by 3.3%. The world's largest consumer goods producer raised its net earnings by two and a half times in the October to December period. Adjusted earnings per share were $1.08, up from analyst expectations. Shares of multinational technology giant IBM Corporation gained 2.2% during the Friday session. Net income and revenue of the world's biggest computer services provider in the fourth quarter beat experts' forecasts. You were watching weekly review of the US stock market prepared for you by InstaForex TV team with me, Katerina Stichina. Have a nice trading with InstaForex.